Good morning, traders. Um, this day is starting out looking like it's going to be a uh, show me day, meaning, you know, yesterday there was uh, some pretty good activity, which we'll go over. But uh, a lot of times, we're after a day like yesterday, the next day is basically a, a show me day, meaning it's not really going to go much of anywhere. Um, it's going to consolidate and uh, we'll see if there is going to be follow through or not um, the next day. So we'll see what tomorrow brings and we'll, obviously we'll see what today brings. But, you know, at this point, I'm expecting me uh, what I've said is a show me day. And essentially what it could turn out to be is the end of the day looks like this. Um, an inside day. So this is what's happening right here pre-market. Um, you know, pr price is trading in the upper part of, you know, the, the update. I'm a little skeptical here that this day actually backed off and has a little bit of a, a tail at the top. Now, of course, these are the futures. So, you know, they traded a little bit afterwards, uh, but they did come in. You can see right here. Um, that wasn't really the end of the day. But uh, again, we'll, we'll see. Show me, right? Um, NQs trading inside the day and, and as you know they had this rounding top you know and you know could could it have actually broken to the upside and and, and joined you know the you know the s and p's that were doing okay they, they could have went higher the dow had gone higher um so could they have followed the transports had moved the russell had moved which we'll take a look at and um well they, they failed mostly with the internet stocks and you know let's just take a look at those because that was like a miracle uh turnaround meaning this is something that's happened a lot this year and it's uh, it hasn't happened in prior years to the extent uh that you know this has meaning wide range bar down immediate recovery um that wasn't quite immediate there but wide range bar down immediate reversal here you know and, and here so you know bullish price action but so much of it it's almost like you you know i see it as being um you know irrational you know i mean like you know you have these nasty down days which is like oh my god the world is coming to an end and all of a sudden you know no big deal you know and, and it's going back up again now as we look at those stocks well, they, what you're coming back. Well, Amazon's not really coming back. It's it's stabilized, made sense. Uh, Apple came back came back a bit, but after a drop like this, you expect a bounce and then a lower high. What looks good is Google. Um, coming out of this range here, it, it's backed off a little bit, but you know that's okay. When you would have another show me day, an inside day, and then we see if it follows through from there. Facebook, it came back quite a bit. Can it get a bit higher here? Well, it's about where it left off, maybe a little bit lower right now. Um, how much can it recover from here or does it roll back over to the downside? Microsoft, didn't get hit quite as bad, but uh, it could be a, a rollover. So we wanna see what, the, what these stocks are gonna be doing here. Um, Baba, which has been a big leader, you know, look at that beautiful uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, break down through some major support, potentially a lower high. Um, so these are some of the, the leaders that we're going to have to see what they do. Uh, Tesla is down some more here, uh, pre-market, about two points. Uh, so, you know, it's right on this major support and it's come down multiple days in a row. Uh, it, if you're short this you know, obviously, you hopefully it keeps dropping, but um, <clears throat> after a drop like this, it, it could be uh, it just pops right back up uh, into this range here. But in intermediate term, look at the weekly here. This double top here says it's going to go lower. And let's take a look. Oil has been doing fantastic. Looks like it can go bit a bit higher before it reaches that major resistance area. And gold uh, try to hold dropped into this this next support area weekly is looking like it could set up a buy set up here so i'd keep an eye on that in uh in in the coming days and honestly i want to take a look at you know look at what the transports they made a a new all-time high so the uh, the dow theory 
Um, they suggest that you know everything's fine in, in the markets. The Dow, which uh, had previously made all-time highs, is consolidating up here. So you have uh, the Dow and the transports new all-time highs. Theoretically, that's supposed to mean everything's okay. I'm not so sure it is. Uh, they are in uptrends, but you know, in the short term, we have those stocks that have been the leaders showing that they're vulnerable. Those are the transports and the Russell. We're going to take a look at right here. Um, had a great day yesterday. Uh, you know, so <clears throat> new all-time highs. This has been, uh, you know, just a neurotic type of trader all year, whipping all around the new high and, and then failed. So. We'll see. Uh, show me today, Russell. Can you have some consolidation here and then go higher? Is this going to um, turn around? And another very positive was the fact, and I told you, watch for the uh, the financials and see if bonds would drop. And if they did, look for financials to go higher and that's exactly what happened <clears throat> and bonds look they can continue to go lower down toward this support here uh, and these stocks are you know probably need ex more show me days here um you know gap up you know so decent size gap up and it went higher uh got room to go higher but uh, maybe a, again a, a resting day uh jp morgan and uh Goldman Sachs, we've talked about this for a while, and it's just chopped around. You have to go to prior videos, but look at the weekly chart. Um, you know, so these financials, as long as TLT is chopping lower, the financials will go higher. So keep an eye on that. That's it, guys, for today. Good trading. We'll talk tomorrow.